Lancia de Lambe de Cabriolet by Carlton Carriage 1930. This 1930 Lancia de Lambda is a first series model 227 that is said to have been ordered new by English 2nd Baronet Sir Douglas Montgomery Bernard Hall upon his return from a trip to Italy in the 1920s. The chassis was clothed in one-off two-door cabriolet coachwork supplied by Carlton Carriage Company of London at the request of the Baronet, who named the car the Blue Shadow and kept it for five years. It is said to have undergone subsequent paint and upholstery changes before changing hands in 1939 and then being removed from the road at the onset of World War II. During the war, the car was stored in a garage, which sustained damage amid a bombing raid. Its whereabouts remained unknown until it was discovered in 1970 and subsequently refurbished. The car spent 30 years with an Italian owner before being purchased in 2018 by its current owner who commissioned a refurbishment to return it to what is said to be its original color combination of light gray and blue over blue leather with woven inserts. Power is provided by a 3,958cc narrow angle low HV V8 that breathes through a Zenith carburetor and is mated to a 4-speed manual transmission. Additional features include sliding pillar independent front suspension, mechanically actuated four-wheel drum brakes, blue painted Rudge Whitworth wire wheels, a blue convertible top, and burl wood interior accents. The car was awarded the Copa d'Oro trophy at the 2021 Concurso d'Eleganza Villa d'Est, after which it was shipped to the US and driven coast to coast by its owner before placing third in its class at the 2022 Pebble Beach Concur d'Eleganza and appearing at the Las Vegas Concur d'Eleganza. This Carlton body de Lambda is now offered at no reserve on dealer consignment in St. Louis, Missouri, with copies of a hardbound book covering its history and restoration, a Milmiglia Registro Eligibility Certificate, FIVA and ASA identification cards, owner's manuals, and a clean Montana title. The de Lambda was presented at the 1929 Paris Motor Show as the successor to the outgoing Lambda with Lancia returning to a body-on-frame approach for the new model in lieu of its predecessor's unibody construction. The De Lambda was produced in three series, the first two of which were offered as either the Model 227 with a 3,475mm wheelbase or the Model 229 with a wheelbase of 3,290mm. Chassis could be purchased with a choice of in-house body styles or sent to a customer's coach builder of preference to receive bodywork. Steel bodywork is wrapped over wood framework and is said to have been specified in a two-tone light gray and blue finish when new. After a series of color changes over the course of its life, the car was returned to a gray and blue color scheme during the refurbishment performed under current ownership which also included body repairs based on photos sourced from the original owner's descendants. Additional repairs were performed to the rear of the bodywork by Hot Rod Chavik in Orange, California, after the car was rear-ended in Los Angeles at the end of its 2022 cross-country journey. The selling dealer notes that sagging of the right-hand door causes it to rub against the running board strips if not lifted when closing. Blue painted Rudge Whitworth wheels are secured by Lancia branded two-eared knockoffs and are wrapped in BF Goodert Silvertown white wall tires, as is a matching spare mounted at the rear of the car. Additional exterior features include rear hinge doors, a tilt-out windshield, louvered side panels below a centrally hinged hood, scrolled rear bumpers, dual fishtail exhaust tips, shield-shaped headlight housings, a gold color BS grille badge and a blue convertible top with bright lanyard bars. The cabin is upholstered in blue leather with diamond pattern woven inserts over the front bucket seats, rear bench, and door panels. Burl wood lines the backs of the front seats and is matched by a burl wood windshield frame, dash surround, and upper door accents. Additional features include blue carpeting, roll-up windows, and a purine fire extinguisher. The four-spoke steering wheel sits ahead of the left side of a blue dash fascia that hosts an ivory and gold color instrument panel. Silver letter instrumentation includes a 90 mile per hour speedometer, a clock, and gauges monitoring fuel level, coolant temperature, and oil pressure flanking an amperage gauge surrounded by a gold color bezel controlling exterior lighting. The five-digit odometer shows 10k miles approximately 5k of which have been added under current ownership. 
The instrument panel also contains a street Christopher insignia in silver. The 3,958cc Type 81 V8 features a 24 degrees angle between cylinder banks, a 5 bearing crankshaft, a shared cylinder head with a single camshaft actuating overhead valves by push rods, and a single updraft carburetor. The water pump was rebuilt during the 2022 cross country drive, and fluids were checked and topped off in preparation for the sale. Engine number 655 can be seen stamped on the block in the photo gallery below. Power is sent to the rear wheels via four-speed manual transmission, and the selling dealer notes noise from the clutch release bearing. Sliding pillar independent front suspension comprises coil springs and adjustable shocks contained in oil around vertical pins anchored to either end of a beam axle while rear suspension incorporates a solid rear axle and semi-elliptical leaf springs. Stopping is handled by drum brakes actuated by rods and cables with servo assistance. Included in the cell are copies of a hardbound book about the car that includes documentation of its refurbishment as well as historical photos such as those above showing the car in 1930.